Oi, oi. Fantastic. Yeah, the hair, still no good. Today, I guess we'll be answering the age-old question. Premier League 11 or the world, right? I mean, I've seen this done with Premier League 11 versus La Liga 11. I've actually done that in the past. <laughs> I'm not taking credit, just speaking facts. I've done it in the past, I have. Um, but I've never seen Premier League 11 versus the world. And I don't think any league, probably La Liga back in the day, like back 2014, 15, they're probably the only league that's ever been good enough in the recent past to do a versus the world style thing. This is literally Premier League 11 versus anybody else, including championship, which none of the players made it in, but it would have counted. It's literally just the Premier League versus the entire world. Many other sports have this concept. Uh, there's, there's the Ryder Cup in golf, the Laver Cup in tennis, the all-star game in the NBA and other American sports. Everyone sort of does this fantasy setup of players. Football doesn't do it. It's not a thing done in football. Um, but I want to see what would happen if we did Premier League 11 versus the world. So before we get into that, obviously, we need to know who the teams are. So let's have a look. We'll have the teams side by side for you. So you can have a look at how they line up against each other. Um, they're both going to be rocking a 4-4-2 as their best team. But throughout the season, the manager, uh, whoever it'll be, it won't be us. The manager will be deciding who plays and who doesn't. But this is who the best teams are based off a 4-4-2 to allow really the best players to play. Um, you might say, well, Hakimi is not as high rated as Luis Suarez and you should play a back three um, and all of that. But uh, this is just the best way to have it as a 4-4-2. So we're sticking with 4-4-2. Let's start off with the team that is representing the world. And that is the last Champions League winners who came from outside of England. And that is Bayern Munich. Um, they rock Mbappe and Lewandowski, or as the, as the screenshot says, Lewandowski, front with Neymar on the left and Messi on the right. So already out of those three players, four coming from Paris Saint-Germain. Uh, Casemiro and Kimmich are holding up in the midfield with Alba on the left, uh, Ramos and Marquinhos as the two centre-back partnership, and Hakimi on the right. Jano Black is actually the goalkeeper ahead of Manuel Neuer. Uh, on the Premier League side of things, the latest Premier League champions, Manchester City, are sporting uh, a front two of Harry Kane and Cristiano Ronaldo. Lukaku on the left. That is a mistake. So sorry. I did this. I, I built. I made these teams and took these screenshots so I could have them next to each other. And now I have made a mistake. Moving on. Uh, I'm sure you guys can suspend your imagination and put uh, Salah in there instead of Lukaku. Uh, the midfield two is De Bruyne and N'Golo Kante. Robertson on the left. Laporte and Diaz are the centre back partnership with Trent on the right. And Edison, of course, is the goalkeeper. Okay, moving along to the bench. And I guess we should imagine that Lukaku is on the bench for Premier League 11 instead of Salah. And getting a wider look at the reserves and the squad. Um, and I'm not sure how the manager is going to do with that, uh, with those squads. I don't know who he'll end up playing. That probably shouldn't be playing. But, but let's leave them to their own devices now. Let's see where we end up halfway through the season. Let's check in on the teams and see where they are. Okay, so I've decided that um, these teams will be playing in the Premier League, a depleted Premier League, it has to be said. Uh, most of the top teams have lost their players. So as you can see, the, the smaller clubs like Spurs and Arsenal are able to sort of excel this year. No, in, in all seriousness, um, Man City. So the Premier League 11 are well and truly ahead of the World 11 at the moment. Um, they are eight points clear of them and six points clear of second place Spurs. So actually World 11 are not even as good as London clubs, which is weird because Bayern Munich alone are better than the uh, better than the London clubs. So I'm not sure what exactly is going on with World Eleven at the moment. That's scary signs. I'd, I'd expect them to be top two with the with the Premier. I mean, this is the best players, literally in the world. Not only that, not only is this the best team in the world, all in one team, except the Premier League. The Premier League teams like City United and um, Liverpool are all depleted. So what if they were full strength? Would they be like? eighth right now or what what's going on here uh where they're struggling i mean to be fair they're only two points behind spurs uh maybe all these new players don't have the team chemistry that the premier league 11 does but it's not good enough essentially i don't know who's managing this team uh but he needs to pull his socks up because they cannot come fifth i'm sorry i guess we'll quickly take a look at the stats halfway through the campaign uh, Erling Haaland, 15 goals in 18 games for World 11. You got Mane and Ronaldo up there for the Premier League 11. Salah is up there as well. There's only one player in the top 15 from World 11 in top goal scorers, and that's 
Erling Haaland, which is weird. Uh, either all the goals are getting shared around apart from Haaland, or they just suck. The thing is, though, Haaland wasn't even the highest rated striker, so he's clearly getting played ahead of some of the others. I guess that's enough chitter chatter. Let's uh, let's see how the teams stack up at the end of the season. Okie doke, here we are, end of the season. As you can see, we decided to take on Brighton as our team and uh, we are relegated. Yeah, we are, we are flat out, straight up. Um, but that's not what we're here to see. We're here to see what happened at the end of the season. I am still yet to see this, so this will be very, very interesting. I'm interested to see how this went down. Liverpool as a depleted team, just narrowly escaping relegation there. Manchester United a little bit further up. Let's, let's, let's slowly grow up. To go up the table see what's going on here so we're in the top 10 which is good the world 11 i was scared that they may not uh make it that you can see in their last game they lost 2-1 to arsenal or one of the games that they're showing they've lost 2-1 to arsenal i have a feeling they're not top two which is a real disappointment a real shame i have a feeling they're not top two um but let's continue eighth place west ham seventh aston villa sixth wolves fifth spurs so they've already improved from halfway arsenal fourth so they're in the top three. Are they top two? They're top two. Chelsea are second. World 11 coming in second. Uh, sorry, Chelsea are third. World 11 second. Premier League 11. Absolutely dominating, in my opinion. They didn't lose in the second half of the season because I believe going into that um, to the halfway check, I believe they had two losses to their name. So Premier League 11, absolutely wiping the floor with the World 11. 10 points clear. I'm sure all the British fans will be absolutely loving that. All right, let's take a look at what happened on this side of things. Haaland didn't score another goal all season. Is that right? I believe he was on, or was he on? He was on 15 halfway through, and he's only ended up on 18, so he really slowed, slowed down. Timo Werner actually takes out the golden boot with 26 goals. In terms of assists, Bruno Fernandes for the Premier League 11, he copped 10 assists with Ronaldo getting nine. That's a big campaign from Ronaldo. Sadio Mane as well, nine. Wow. So Ronaldo and Mane, the two main players there for the Premier League 11. Muller and Komen again, uh, the two names that came up in the goal scoring list have come up here in the assist list. I guess taking a bit more of a deep dive you can see that for some reason the manager did not want to play Kylian Mbappe or Robert Lewandowski as much as they probably should have where exactly is Messi on the goal score list how did he not score a single goal this campaign because he played one game maybe that's why you couldn't beat Premier League 11 you played Lionel Messi for one game I mean, that is, that's a massive omission list right there. I mean, the goalkeepers, you can understand. They didn't need them. You didn't play them. Fair enough. You, you can understand it, right? Uh, and this is Premier League only. So who knows what happened in the Cups? But what what is this for an omission list? Aguero, Suarez, Immobile, whatever, Di Maria and Insigne. You couldn't find a game for them? And then Leo Messi won? Well, now I'm not surprised. Now I'm not surprised that they were shit. Um, it looks like there was just not a lot of rotation, which doesn't make sense. Why would you not rotate your team? I guess the managers in FIFA are just like everything else in FIFA, and that is stupid. Well, I guess that's it for the uh, experiment side of things. I would like to jump into a game and play a little bit with each of these teams and just see how they feel. So what I'll do is I'll do a little one-on-one uh, -on -one here, Premier League 11 versus World 11. I'll play a half of a game with one of the teams and a half of the game with the other team and see which one I personally like the most. And let me uh, fill you in, guys, on a little spoiler here, yeah? Lionel Messi will be playing, right? I'm not an idiot. I just noticed a massive, massive mistake in my screenshots um, because I'm adjusting the teams again. Van Dyke wasn't in the starting 11. Am I dumb? Am I actually dumb? I'm not an idiot. Van Dyke wasn't in the starting 11. And it, I didn't even, it didn't even occur to me. I didn't even think about it. Oh, yeah. Diaz and Laporte. No, that makes sense. That makes a lot of sense. Okay, we're starting in the first half with World 11. We're going to be representing World 11 in the first half and the Premier League 11 in the second half. So let's see what we can do. Obviously, World 11 need our help. So hopefully we don't put ourselves at a massive disadvantage uh, in the beginning. I don't even know what difficulty this is on. I'm playing this in tournament mode. I actually don't even know what difficulty this would be. But uh, as you could tell, I'm shit at the game. So this is going to be a high scoring one, I think. Good start. I was too busy waffling. I was too busy waffling. I am a, I'm a serial gum flapper. I, I am the biggest gum flapper you've ever met in your life. Or maybe this is the grand plan, right? Go 
go down 7-0, switch to Premier League 11, and then I've won the game. Boom. Kylian Mbappé locked in. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful by Kylian. Puts it on the other side. Nothing really doing here. Leo's found. Bang. Ancara Messi, Ancara Messi, Ancara Messi, Ancara Messi, Ancara Messi, 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 goal, 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 goal. That is sublime. You played this man one game in the entire season. What is wrong with you? So Ronaldo and Messi, the first two goal scorers of the game. Who could have written that script? Bang, give me that. Here we go. Oh, hang on now. World 11. Oh, we're flying up. Mbappe. Oh, Killian! Killian! 2-1! Oh my word, all of a sudden everything's opened up here. All of a sudden, it's gone from ultimate difficulty to amateur difficulty. Within about 10 seconds, boys, the game has opened up. World 11 are back in this. Come on, the world! Oh no. Oh no, it's back on ultimate. It's back on ultimate! Come on, the world! Beautiful. Beautiful. Robert? Roberto lays it off. Mbappe? Who is that? Is he onside? It's Kimmich. And he's on. He's onside. It's a <laughs> I didn't even know if he was onside the whole time. I was full waiting to see if he was onside. I had no idea if he was onside. I mean, this is tight. That has to be tight. I thought he was not onside. Oh, no. No. Salah down, running down the wing here. Oh my God, this is a tough, this is a tough defensive task. You bang! Sergio Ramos, do you remember? Salah, do you remember him? He is your father, mate. He is your father. You must remember him after that tackle. What a tackle by Sergio. Oh, Ramos, stop it. No way. Bang. Oh no, this is too good. Erling Haaland. Hey, he'll go for it himself. Oh, he's selfish. He went for it himself. He should have passed. He absolutely should have passed. Erling Haaland, what are you doing? I'm blaming him. It was actually me. I'm an idiot. Ramos playing this sort of like defensive mid position here. Oh, Mbappe. Oh my God. He's tricked them all. He's tricked them all. He's off. He's running. Oh, he's pulled it wide. He has pulled it wide. I guess I'm just making this easier for myself when I switch to Premier League 11. Oh, 3 1 at half time. World 11 was really fun to play with. I hope Premier League 11 is also fun to play with. That was an insane team. I don't know how the hell they didn't do better in the Premier League. I gotta be honest with you. Clearly they need some help. The Premier League 11 are here and we're here to win. Let's go boys. Oh no. Neymar is through. Oh, Ruben Diaz. Beautiful work by the center back. Plays it through to Mohamed Salah. Here's the counter attack. Harry Kane on your bike, son. Gets past Sergio Ramos. Unbelievably. Harry Kane. Harry Kane. England's own Harry Kane. Bringing the Premier League back. Don't celebrate, you mongrel. Go and get the ball. What are you doing? It all started with a bit of Ruben Diaz uh, defensive work. And then a couple of nice balls later, Harry Kane was slipped on through. And uh, scores a goal. 3-2. And the Premier League 11 are back in this. I told you, boys. They needed a bit of help. And that's what I'm here to do. Beautiful by N'Golo. Harry Kane. Oh, Mohamed Salah. Stop it. Stop it. He's through. Bang on the left. Oh, Black. What a save. Oh, what a save. How has he actually done that? Oh, my God. Give me that. Give me that. Bang. Beautiful. Salah. Look at this. I'm adjusting the microphone while playing the game, but Salah doesn't care. He skips past all of them. Oh, he tried replicating Messi. Oh, he tried to replicate Messi there. That would have been an insane goal by Mohamed Salah, considering I was adjusting my microphone in the middle of that run. Stop it, Luis. Bang, give me that. How was that not a foul? How was the ref not called a foul on me there? That's absolutely insane. No. Haaland is through. Get him, Edison. Bang. Crunch that Norwegian prick. Come on, fellas. Come on, Premier League 11. There's an equalizer here. I'm sure of it. And Kane, no, the wrong man. He was on side as well. Oh. Oh, here we go. Last minute. Mane. 
Ronaldo! Ronaldo! Oh, what a goal! With one minute left to play. Cristiano! Ronaldo! What a goal! Oh my god, in the dying embers. Mane, what a ball. Ronaldo takes it on the half volley. Absolutely insane goal. 3-3. Three, three. I actually don't know what happens if this is a draw. I'm not sure if there's uh, like extra time or something or what. I don't know what's going on in this. So I guess we're about to find out what happens here. End of the second half, it says 3-3. Three, three, and it doesn't look like there is going to be extra time. I'll tell you what, I'll sim the extra time. And if it goes to penalty, we'll, I guess we'll jump back in. And I'm not even sure who will play us. So let's see what happens in the sim. Give these teams a chance to uh, actually play against each other here in a simulated match. Let the computer take over and see what they do. The goal for Sergio Ramos. <laughs> How has he done that? There's a goal for Sergio Ramos. That's absolutely insane. I guess he's not shy of, of scoring goals, Sergio Ramos. So it's not too un unexpected. But in a simulated match for Sergio Ramos to score. Oh, another one? It is another one. Erling Haaland, 5-3. Premier League 11 in the mud as soon as I stopped controlling them. Unbelievable scenes. And it looks like that's going to be it. I want to see what happens at the end of this game. Is there like a trophy celebration or something? There is a trophy celebration. I guess at the end of the day, Premier League 11 won the calendar sim, but World 11 won the game, right? So I don't know what you want to say. Head to head, who's better? Which team do you think is better? Which team would you prefer to play with? Which team would you not want to play against? And which team do you think is actually better assembled and, and looking at the teams? For me, I have to say the World Eleven is better. Obviously, there's literally the entire world barring the Premier League in it, so how could it not be better? It's not that far, like the gap is not that big, right? Not like in years past where the World Eleven would have had both Messi and Ronaldo. Now that Ronaldo's in the Premier League and the Premier League has gotten much, much better over the past few years, I think it's a lot, lot closer than, than I would have expected. I would have thought the World Eleven would have taken the, the calendar sim, taken the game and clean swept the Premier League Eleven. That wasn't the case. There was no clean sweep um, and the Premier League 11 in fact were the better team during the calendar season so I don't know that surprised me what did you guys expect in terms of results um is this basically what you expected let me know what else you'd like to see in terms of experiments like this I'm thinking about doing Europe versus South America again that's a classic that we've done before in previous FIFAs let me know what you want to see down below if you enjoyed the video uh please do leave a like on it subscribe if you're somehow new around here I doubt anybody is let's watch Sergio Ramos lift the cup as I bid you adieu guys like I said before um I hope you did enjoy today's video and I hope you guys have a good day I'll see you guys in the next one very soon keep it real